Okay, so this video um, is kind of an overview of section 1.1, um, which is uh, about the number systems. All right, so we have a number, a number of number systems, of course, good, good, good pun to start off the day. Um, so the type of numbers systems we have that the book covers are tallies. Um, so those are the things that if you just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, etc. Um, it's basically kind of a visual way of just counting things. Um, pretty straightforward for small numbers. Uh, if I tried to write down the number 175 in tallies, not fun. So, um, so again, it's good, um, and you might use it in, in like little games and so forth. Another one that is pretty standard are Roman numbers or Roman numerals. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, the Egyptian numbers. Um, I'm also going to talk about that later. Uh, and then the number system that we use is called the Hindu Arabic system. Okay. So, and this uh, base 10. Okay, and there are other things that are base 10 I'll talk about in just a bit. Is that, um, right, we have the digits 0 through 9, so there's 10 possible digits in there, that's why it's base 10. Um, it's also a place value system. So again, when I write the number, say 13,795, the place inside the number tells me the value of it. That's what we mean by that again. Okay. It's called Hindu Arabic because basically um, both the Hindus and the Arabics came up with the number zero um, sort of independently, which was the key to making the whole system work. Without zero, um, it's, it's really difficult to do such a system. So that's the, the reason for this. Okay. Um, another number system that I've got in another video is called the Mayan numbers. These were numbers that the Mayans used. Um, it's quite interesting, which is why I go over it. Base 20, but it's place value. So basically the same thing, instead of using 10 digits, 0 through 9, they use 20 digits, which is a series of dots and lines, um, but it's also a place value. So the location in the number tells me how what the value is, is as well. Okay, I'm going to cover a couple of these here. I'm going to do talk about Egyptian numbers and Roman numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Mayan numbers are in another video. Okay, so Egyptian numbers, um, basically what it's fairly straightforward. Um, they use a vertical line to represent the number one. So I'm going to very accentuate the, the serifs on the one. This little upside down U is often called a heel. Represents the number 10. Um, this little guy, this is a scroll. And I think it varies, I've seen it both ways, the direction of the scroll. It kind of looks like an E here. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit less than that. Um, 100, and then a lotus. Um, looks like this character. Kind of like, a, it's supposed to be a flower. I always have students say, oh, it's the Pac-Man guy. So it's sort of a running Pac-Man guy, right? Okay. So, let's say if I'm going to write 3,417 in 
Egyptian. Um, it's fairly straightforward in terms of the 3,000. I just need to write three of these guys. So. And then four of the real, little scrolly guys. One heel, and then seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. Okay. So it's a base 10 system in that you've got the, um, right, they all have powers of 10. All of these things. And it doesn't stop at, at a thousand here. It goes on. I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, you kind of get the idea once you get to this. And that's the, the whole point of this. Um, okay, so you'll have in some group work and, and homework and stuff, and doing arithmetic with these things, addition, subtraction. Um, it's, it's fairly straightforward, I think. So um, this was just more of an overview of things. Um, and then let me also just talk about Roman numbers. So in many cases, the Roman numbers, which you might have seen before, um, all of the Super Bowls are numbered in Roman numbers except for 50. Um, and I don't know, I also, also noticed it a lot of times on, especially on movies, on, cal on dates of movies, it would, it would show the date in Roman numbers. I don't think they do that so much anymore. Um, but for example, um, they use the number I for 1, right? X for 10, C for 100, and M for 1,000. And if this was the case, exactly like this, it would be exactly like the um, Egyptian system, just using different characters over here to represent, right? So instead of a line and the heel and the scroll and the lotus, it's just these letters, right? Um, however, Romans do a little bit more in that there is also a five, and a 50, and a 500. Okay. And this shortens up some of those things. So for example, if I had 3,417 in Roman, okay, then what we could just do is we could do M, 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 four Cs, one, two, three, four, um, 110, and then 17 is a 5 and 2 ones. Okay. Um, so that's that. A little bit, um, uh, one additional thing. Um, additional that often is done is four, I can write as IV, right? And modus six is VI. So the order of this is, is, is different. So this, this is, if the I comes before the V, it's four. If it comes after, it's six, for example. And then on nine, IX, and just to give you a, a sense, the number 11, make that an 11, is XI. So if it's before, it's one less. If it's after, it's one more. Okay. Um, and that works with all of these other things too. So actually, instead of doing CCCC to give me 400, I can actually do what's one um, right before D, do a CD. 
and then x vii, right? So that's 400 right there. One before d. So dc would be 600, cd is 400. Um, I, a lot of this detail I don't really care. The point of this is, is for this class is to get some sense of different number systems and how you do a little bit of arithmetic in that. Okay.